Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play this song called Both Sides Now by Judy Collin. Here we go, give me, uh, giving you a preview of what you're going to learn. It's the chorus section, very awesome, it goes like this. extra stuff to it and just repeat it, you can be like... Yeah, pretty nice chorus section, let's get right into it, okay? So here we go. Right hand uh, starts on this, okay, we'll break it up into a few parts, okay, it's so interesting, some of the like rhythm and placement of the chords are interesting, but anyway, here we go, right hand starts on the C up here, middle C chord, an octave C chord, but another octave C, that's where we start, it goes C, C, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, C, down to E flat, back up to A flat, D flat, C, E flat, up to A flat, D flat, C, down to E flat twice. Okay, that's the first part. So we'll break it up into two parts, okay? But there's a lot of chords uh, changing around, so yeah, you gotta remember it, okay? But anyway, one more time, it goes like this. C, C, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, C, down to A flat, back up to A flat, up to D flat, C, down to E flat, up to A flat, up to D flat, C, down to two E flats. That's it for the first part of the right hand. Left hand is pretty easy. There's um four, five, six chords, but don't worry because the six chords you actually know. Um, no, seven chords. Okay, the seven chords are really easy because it's actually just two chords alternating between each other. Okay, so this is what happens. So the two chords that alternate is A flat major, which is A flat C E flat, and then the second chord alternates to uh, the second inversion of D flat major, which is keeping that A flat at the bottom, which is A flat D flat F. Yeah, and that's the second version of D flat major. And then the rest of it, up to the seventh chord, is just alternating back and forth with those two chords. So third chord, A flat major, fourth chord, second inversion, and then the fifth chord back to A flat major, sixth chord back to that, that other chord, and then the seventh chord back to A flat major. See, so easy. It's just alternating between those uh, two different chords, okay? So remember it. Okay, once you do the two hands together, it goes like this. Ryan starts on the first C, second C, and A flat major just get up. D flat and next chord to get up. E flat and A flat major together. D flat and next chord together. E flat and A flat major together. D flat and the next chord together. Next E flat and A flat major together. Simple stuff. One more time. It goes like this. Together. 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 And that's it for this first part. Okay. Now, moving on to the second part. Right hand continues. Goes up to A flat G. A flat G. F. E flat down to A flat twice, up to E flat twice, D flat C down to A flat, A flat, and then up to C, B flat, A flat. That's it, easy stuff. Okay, one more time, it goes like this, it goes A flat G, A flat G, F, E flat down to A flat, A flat, up to E flat, E flat, D flat, C, A flat, A flat, C, B flat, A flat. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have this following one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chords. Okay, these eight chords are a little bit harder because it's more changing. It's not like the first part where it's just alternating between two chords. So pay attention right now. So these are the eight chords. The first chord is C minor, which is C, E flat, G. Second chord, D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. Third chord, A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. Fourth chord, A flat major again. Fifth chord, first inversion of A flat major, which is C, E flat, A flat. And the next chord is E flat suspension four, which is E flat, A flat, B flat. Next chord, E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. And the last chord back to E flat major, A flat, C, E flat. So yeah, with those chords in mind, so C minor, D flat major, A flat major twice. First inversion, A flat major, E flat sus four, E flat major, and finish with A flat major. Okay, so with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts on the A flat, G and C minor together. G and D flat major together. E flat and A flat major together. Second E flat and A flat major together. Next C and the first inversion together. And then E flat sus four by itself. Right continues. And E flat major by itself. And right continues. A flat and A flat major together. That's it. One more time, it goes like this. So it goes together, together, together. 
Tira, tira, hia, hia, tira. And that's it. So back to back, the two parts will be played like this. Check it out. Beautiful, okay? So after you got all the melody and chords of this right, all the notes and rhythm, then you can think of other improvisation and decoration patterns to put into it to make it more awesome. For example, left hand you can do more like rhythmic patterns, octave and arpeggio patterns. Right hand you can harmonize it based on the chords and add like other decoration stuff, okay? So you can do something like this. Oops, one more time, let's try it again. So yeah, just play around with it, obviously get the melody and chords of it very good first, or else it will be a lot harder to do that. And um, yeah, because you need to be able to uh, can you, like uh, navigate your chords around the piano first for that song, and then be able to just improvise uh, other patterns on top of it. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff. So make sure to check it out. Most likely you can find your favorite songs to learn on my channel. But anyway, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com. Linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure to check it out. Enjoy the time around my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.